Hi everyone, and today we are entering a very, very important part of uh, our MATLAB programming course, which is array indexing or matrix indexing, if you will prefer. So, uh, what is indexing? What you will see here, we have created a matrix A, and uh, this is what it looks like here. It's a 5 by 5 matrix with uh, numbers populated varying from 0 to 10. All right? So uh, let's assume that this particular matrix represents the marks of various students, okay, in uh, in a particular subject, okay. So let's say this is English, this is French, this is maths, this is okay. All of these are the mathematics marks of different students, or uh, rather, English marks of different students. All of these are the French marks of different students. All of these are the mathematics marks of different students, okay. This is student one, student two student three student four student five okay it can be john mary any one let's just call them student one two three four easy referencing okay so there comes a time where uh i don't need all of this data per se okay i want to get the marks of student uh three for example for all of the subjects what do i need i need all of this column only i don't need the entire matrix i need just this part of the matrix Okay, I want to know uh, how much student four scored, for example, in mathematics. This is these are the mathematics marks of all the students here, and this is student four, right? So this is what he scored in mathematics. He had ten. Let's assume that all of these marks here are on ten, right? He had uh, ten on ten. So I'll need just this specific value out of the whole matrix. So to get these values, what we say is that we index them out of the matrix. Okay, so indexing is all about uh, getting specific data, okay, out of a matrix which was contained in the matrix to use for a different to use for a different purpose. All right, so we don't need the whole matrix; we need specific information, specific information from the matrix. Okay, and the, how do we do that? Say I want to get, for example, this eight right here. Okay. What do I need to know? All I need to know is that uh, MATLAB references each of its rows and each of its columns. Okay, so for any given matrix, this will be row one, this will be row two, this will be row three, this will be row four, this will be row five. Same thing this way, okay? And the numbering continues like that for any given dimension of a particular array, okay? So the, uh, the, the nomenclature of the rows will always be in an arithmetic progression with common difference one. So you'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and all the like. And this way, you'll always be one, two, three, four. So first column, second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column, and so on, right? So no matter the elements that or the numbers that we are interested in getting, they are always located in specific rows and specific columns. And once we know the row and the column in which a particular element is located in a matrix or an array, we can just index that particular column, okay, by just uh, indicating its row index and its column index, right? So this eight, for example, that we need, where is it located? It is located in row one two three four right and it's located in column one two three four okay so how do we get that eight the very first thing we need to do is to write the name of the variable containing the array right so here it is a that is equals to that if it was b then it would have been b that we are writing first if it was loic it would have been loic that we are writing first you write the name of the array containing the 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 name of the variable sorry containing the array okay that's the first thing then you open the brackets okay and close them and it is within these brackets that you indicate uh the index of the numbers that you're interested in what is the row number and what is the column number okay so dimensions are separated by comma so the first thing we want to do is indicate the row number okay so the row number here we say is four. Okay. Once you've indicated the row number, you place a comma to move to the next dimension, which is the column. Okay. The second dimension, and then indicate what is the column number where the eight is located. One, two, three, four. Right. 
it is still four. And that's that. When you press enter, you will have your eight. Okay. We can store this particular value that we've just gotten in a different variable. Okay. So I can say uh, y is equal to um, a of four comma four. Then y becomes eight. Okay. And you see that I have sorted out a specific value out of the overall array, which I can use for a different purpose. But for the sake of exercise, let's try to get a different one. How do you think we are going to get uh, this value uh, 5 this way? Okay. How do you think we're going to get it? Let me put A again. And we're interested in this 5. How are we getting this 5? Well, we write the name of the variable, okay, containing the array. And then we place brackets in front of it. And uh, we indicate the number of the row which is 2, then the number of the column, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 4. And there we get R5, right? So this is cool. What about uh, vectors? If I have a vector V, okay, and uh, let's say Randy, till 10, and uh, let's give ourselves five elements, not a problem. Okay, so if I have a vector V this way, you will need to know the sizes, okay? So, uh, this V here, what's the dimension? The dimension of V is one two, one, two, three, four, five, right? Five rows and then just one column. So, if I want uh, element four of V, this particular number here out of V, what do I do? I write the name of the variable containing the array. I open the bracket and then on which row is that four found? On row three. And on which column? It is on column one, right? Good. So many times you may confuse this because this is a vector. You may you may want to say it is maybe one comma three. You may get confused in the dimensions, but let's see what that gives. If I say one v of one comma three, then what we have is simply wow my lab is taking a little bit okay what we have is simply an error message okay many times you will see these in my lab these red messages okay and we'll come to to see more of them as we go along uh, these red messages are there to tell you you have made an error and MATLAB cannot execute what you just wrote. And MATLAB clearly explains what the error is, okay, to give you an idea of how you can correct it. In my experience training, many times when people see errors, they begin to panic, okay, whereas it's something that you just need to read and then see where the problem is and just correct and the code will be okay, okay? To do programming, you need to be very, very meticulous. So many times we miss the mark at some points unwillingly. Good, so the error here is index in position two exceeds array bounds, okay? So here, we have V here, let me, let's recall V. So index in position two, this one, okay, exceeds array bound, why? Because we don't have three columns, we have just one column okay so in position two right here we are exceeding the bounds of the array which is limited only to one right on the other hand if we had uh, if we had v as v transpose instead okay if we had v as v transpose instead then that indexing will make sense right v of one comma three will give us four peacefully but in vectors, again, we are in one-dimensional arrays, okay? So this will not necessarily be the accurate way for you to index vectors, all right? So let's try to clear that, and let's put V. For any given vector, whether it is a row vector like this one, okay, or a column vector like the one we had before, uh, when you want to index and get a particular number, you don't need to indicate two dimensions because, remember, vectors are one-dimensional. All you need to do is to say the, the to write the name of uh, the variable containing the array. You open the bracket, and since it is one dimensional, you can indicate just one dimension. Okay, you just indicate the index of where that particular number is found. This is for vectors. Okay, so this is one, 
two, three, four, uh, rather one, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is how MATLAB uh, in the, uh, numbers all of its elements in the RMIT progression with common difference one, right? So if we want four, all we need to do is V of three, and that's that, and that gives us four. We want two, all we need to do is V of five, and that gives us two, okay? So you can use this similar logic in matrices, but you should know how MATLAB stores the matrix in the memory, okay? So the way MATLAB stores matrix is one, two, three, four, five, then six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then eleven, twelve. So it is column by by column, okay? It stores it column by column. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So if I want this 8 using just one index, the way we did with vectors now, I will have to say A of, did we say 19 or 18? 19, good. So A of 19, and that gives me 8, okay? So let's continue, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So if I want this last element, I will say A of 25. Okay, so um, in this video, it was an introduction to indexing and how to index uh, single elements from arrays. And we'll see how to index uh, multiple elements from array in the next video. Bye-bye.